ranching has been a way of life in Marin County since the 1800s. These photographs are of ranching families in West Marin, families that go back four generations. The photos were taken by Art Rogers, the self-proclaimed town photographer of Point Reyes, California. Art loves to photograph his neighbors, people who lead free and independent lives. I've been making photographs out in this community for the last seven years among which many of the people that I photograph is the ranching community, which obviously to me, after being here for 10 years, is rapidly disappearing, it's vanishing. As a lifestyle, one good example is Merv McDonald, out on the point, a beef rancher, family-run business, and he has to leave. Merv McDonald and his family have been ranching on leased land for the last 20 years. Recent developments, though, are forcing McDonald and his family out and changing the ranching business in West Marin. The owner of Merv's ranch sold the property to the National Park Service. Congress designated that land as a wilderness area and relocated Tule elk there. The elk competed with Merv's cattle for pasture land, forcing him to sell all his livestock. The Park Service has tried to help McDonald find another ranch, but with today's high costs, Merv simply cannot afford to buy any land. There's 50 years of accumulation around this place here that to us is worth just a great amount of money, but to somebody else is just junk. So the Park said they'll move it if we can find a place, but I don't know. They said they were going to relocate us but they're gonna relocate us all right, right out there in that road from the 1st of April. The Indians, at least when they put them off of their land, they put them on a reservation. But we don't even have a reservation to go to. Probably a house in town, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna to move to town. Chester Grippy is one of Art Rogers' favorite subjects to photograph. He was born 76 years ago across the street from his present ranch. Chester has seen many changes. I get up 6 o'clock every morning, get out and feed the cattle, and watch two ranches. Well, it's got a lot higher and a lot costlier to operate, and uh, it's going to be pretty hard for the young, young generation to uh, survive it. Grippy has been a livestock dealer all his life. This morning, he picked up a young bull at the Stockton auction for Scott Murphy, a third generation West Marin rancher and real estate salesman. Prices have, um, have gone up about 100 mm -hmm. percent uh, or doubled in the last like four or five years. And this um, has eliminated farm expansion to the small farmer. Uh, the prices are such what the land produces. Mm -hmm. A lot of these ranches are 150 acres, and if you have two or three boys, uh, you almost are forced to sell them when you retire, because due to zoning restrictions, you can't really split them up. I feel what we're losing are people like the Grippies, mm -hmm. people like the McDonald's. Uh, the family farm and that tradition and that unity mm -hmm. is disappearing, not only here in Petaluma, Tamales, but all across the country. Here's triplet calves, one chance in a million. I like this lifestyle. I don't want it to disappear. I want to try and help preserve it if I can. Al Pancha is one of the lucky ones. He's been able to keep his family dairy business efficient by working harder and managing his money wisely. Many small ranchers are not as fortunate. Rising fuel costs, land values, and stricter environmental laws are causing a rich lifestyle to be lost to the complexities of modern life. We don't really know if our family, if, if my children, number one, will want to carry on the family business, number two, if we'll have enough for them to carry on. Um, 
with the rate of inflation, inflation is a big problem and has been a big problem for a number of years. I would like to expand my facility and expanding that facility in this area depends on, on getting more land to graze more cattle and to raise heifers and so forth. And I'm almost virtually forced out of the uh, real estate market because of escalated um, subdevelopment costs and speculative costs for the land. The vanishing lifestyle of the American rancher, the small American family rancher, was no different than the vanishing of the American Indian. Curtis documented this, turn of the century, and in his book, The North American Indian, in 1907, he wrote this introduction. The passing of every old man or woman means the passing of some tradition, some knowledge of sacred rights possessed by no other. For the benefit of future generations, this must be collected at once, or the opportunity will be lost for all time. 